Okay, what we have here is a 2004 Mercury Sable with a 3 liter dual overhead cam. Came in to me after it's been a couple places. It's a used car dealer with a 351 PO351 ignition coil A, primary secondary circuit fault. The 355 you see here was not there when it came in. History behind this is the customer put new coils up front because they were the easy ones to get to because it had a 355. Once he did that, it moved to 351 and he didn't want to pull the intake off and he thought it needed a computer so he just wanted to step out of it and quit spending money on coils. So I have it. First thing I did, of course, was what a lot of people would do is just switch coils around. So since they had new ones up front, I decided with the mileage 92,000 that I should probably check the spark plugs. So I put six spark plugs in it, put the new coils in the back underneath the intake, put it back down, and the 351 came back immediately. It's so not immediately I had to drive it and it had to start misfiring. So I kind of eliminated the coils. So I want to show that while I'm driving it under the cylinder contribution test, when it starts misfiring in cylinder number one, I still have coil control. Now it looks like this is like a triple spark event at idle and low speed. When you rev it up, it'll go into one fire think that's a Ford design I really don't know if I ever figure it out I'll post it so I'm gonna pause this for a second switch to the contribution okay of course right now it should cylinder number three okay here we go here's the cylinder contribution test I actually can't get to number six, but I don't have a problem there. So I'm going to drive it, get it to misfire, so you can see that I still have coil control, which is kind of up there because I don't have a modus or whatever I would need. I just got snap on loaner models that they sold me cheaper. <laughs> Okay, it must have been recording a whole lot of nothing. What I've done here is now I'm simultaneously graphing. I back probe the crankshaft position sensor, which is an AC signal. You can see right here is your largest gap. It's kind of hard for me to get any tighter than that and still see what's going on. But that's your reference signal on the crankshaft position sensor and this is the coil control back probing the computer with the coil trigger the ground control of the ignition coil and you can see the hash marks right there lining up with it now right now it's not misfiring I have nothing happening it feels okay but that signal gets worse. So I'm going to drive it and see if I can capture that. But this is telling me that my crank sensor is what's causing this coil secondary, the 351 code. So I'll replace that and show you a clean signal. But I'll try to make this act up again. All right. As you can see, that's pretty bad right now. It is actually misfiring. And it lines up with cylinder number one. Showing a misfire. Oh, it's going away. Hopefully you caught that. Clean back up. <clears throat> Not as bad. Doesn't misfire now, but you can see the problem is related to the crankshaft position sensor. see it is misfiring 
real bad signal in that same spot worse than when it's not and we'll watch it clear up there it goes car quit misfiring signal still bad in that area but not as bad now it's clean every once in a while Here's a closer view of that signal, just the crankshaft position sensor, so you can see what's going on with the signal at that part. So I'm now going to replace it. After I replaced the crank sensor, I had to change the scale on my lab scope because my readings were going off the chart. So I'm going to take a note of the amplitude of my signal. I'm at maybe, maybe a volt if I'm lucky. Now let's go to the new one. And here's what the new crankshaft position sensor looks like. Nice and clean. And check out the amplitude. I'm um, 8 to 10 volts easy. The other thing that I found out later is this car had an intermittent stalling problem. This fixed that too. So we'll call this one fixed. Thanks.